Another video in the series of N7RBP's YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm going to do a, an addendum actually. It's an addendum on a, a video that I made uh, a few years back, a couple years back, two or three years, something like that. Uh, when I got my ICOM IC7100, um, at that point in time there was a, a, a pretty big uh, rumbling about ICOM 7100s not putting out the power that they were supposed to on uh, HF, on uh, sideband, on the HF bands. And uh, I discovered it was uh, true with the, uh, with the 7100 that I had. And uh, at that point in time there was a uh, modification, a mod, videos out that uh, showed uh, what the modifications were to rectify that situation, to get the uh, uh, output back up to the uh, 100 watt level. It was really hard to get a full 100 watts out of uh, the radio uh, with the modulation. It had to do with the ALC and stuff. So anyhow, I performed a modification that uh, was floating around the internet and uh, it worked. It worked really well. And uh, for a number of years uh, I didn't notice any really issues or problems uh, until just recently I put that IC7100 into my pickup truck and uh, wasn't initially noticing any issues but uh, uh, there was a point in time where I left the truck sitting for two or three or four days uh, without being run and uh, turns out my uh, my battery was low, dead actually, wouldn't start the car. It was an older battery, uh, my uh, 2017 Toyota Tundra, uh, getting around five years old, and, and I thought, well, batteries uh, probably reached this life, so I replaced the battery, and uh, again I noticed, after three or four days of sitting, uh, the battery getting low. And uh, I also, another thing that I noticed during the hot days, when it was really hot, when I had the radio turned completely off, uh, uh, nothing on the screen or anything, uh, the heat fan, the fan in the uh, main portion of the radio would turn on, even with the radio turned off. And uh, I thought, that's odd. Of course, it does get up to, uh, in the summertime around here, you know, over 100 degrees inside the truck with the windows rolled up. It gets, it gets quite warm, no doubt about it. And uh, I thought, well, I guess, uh, you know, maybe that's a circuitry that's built in by ICOM. And, but uh, it concerned me. And uh, like I say, that and uh, the fact that the, the battery was, uh, was being compromised, I got a... Uh, uh, my meter out, and I checked the uh, I checked the output or the uh, uh, amperage coming from the battery, and uh, it was uh, it was about I, if I remember correctly, it was around two tenths of an amp uh, being drained, and I thought that's really not uh, not what it should be when the radio is turned off. Of course, when I unplugged it, there was no drain at all. Uh, so I checked my other. 7100 and uh, no drain at all when the radio's off everything's off no drain whatsoever so <clears throat> at this point in time now this would have gone totally unnoticed totally unnoticed because uh, uh, before I put it in my truck I had it in my shack here and uh, it was being powered uh, either by uh, my my uh, 50 amp power supply or my uh, my solar batteries my solar system and my solar batteries and uh, uh, co continuous uh, uh, input into the batteries, so uh, it would have never been noticed. I don't think I would have ever noticed it. Uh, but, like I say, when I put it in the truck, started to drain the battery, and that, uh, that brought this to light. So, uh, what I'm saying here is, I believe that that modification that I did uh, to increase the power output on the IC7100 
is the culprit. I believe, and uh, I have not reversed that modification yet, uh, and I may and I may not. It depends on uh, uh, how I want to address this problem. But I did want to bring the issue up and let people know that uh, this particular modification, uh, from what my experience is, does cause a minute draw on the battery when even when it's off, turned totally off. So uh, just a heads up guys on this modification. I was all for it and uh, I know I took a lot of slack from a number of people on uh, YouTube when I made a video on, uh, on the subject and uh, I stood by my guns and I still stand by my guns that there was uh, an issue in these uh, early models that uh, uh, prevented it from uh, producing 100% output on uh, the sideband HF side. So there you go. Uh, for what it's worth, the modification for you may or may not, probably will, uh, cause a minute drain on the battery. So just be aware of that. With that, this is N7RBP ending another one of uh, my YouTube videos, 73s. Have a great day, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.